G'day trendsetters and welcome to Gainesville, Texas, one of several Gainesvilles in the United States. Gainesville is located in northern Texas, close to the border of Oklahoma. I'll conduct a quick tour of this nice little town before kicking off a ride of about 62 miles with many gravel roads, at least that's my hope. So let's start out. This is the courthouse and in most small towns I experience. The courthouse is at the center of town, which means this is also the county seat. Let's get rolling. All you need to know about the Cook County Courthouse. If there's wind noise, that indicates it's going to be a windy and potentially tough ride today. The Slate Theatre. On the right is the newspaper, the Gainesville Daily Register. This is the post office and federal building for Gainesville, Texas, 76240. St. Paul's Episcopal Church. Gainesville features a live and active Amtrak station. And here's some footage from yesterday. Time to get cracking on our ride for today. We'll see you later, Gainesville. The north side of Gainesville, Texas, getting close to the edge of town. To enter the very first mixed surface road of today. And conditions look to be a little bit dusty, but that's okay. Observation, these roads are very similar to the limestone roads that I'm used to riding in my USA home base of Gainesville, Florida. Today's route passes very close to Oklahoma. I was hoping to ride into Oklahoma, but unfortunately, there's no real easy way to cross over the Red River unless I'm into riding heavily trafficked, dodgy paved roads. In the distance, you might be able to spot what looks to be a town and some water towers, or at least some big buildings. As 
far this has proven to be a beautiful route and I've seen exactly one car on these roads. off the pavement and back onto a gravel road a quiet gravel road I might add considering this route traverses a huge amount of farmland it's refreshing to see there is an abundance of tree cover along these roads so hats off to the local farmers or road planners and so on for leaving this marvelous tree cover in place because I imagine this is a pretty tough area to ride during the peak of summertime weather conditions are absolutely near perfect High temperature of about 23 Celsius or 74 Fahrenheit. That is a very cool fence. Liberty Hill Cemetery, one of two cemeteries I've spotted along the route thus far. Have no fear, I mean you no harm. It's okay. On the pavement, a nice quiet road admittedly. I'm drawing closer to, I think, one of the gasoline stations along this route today. This area or road is known as Sandusky, Sandusky Road. So I'm gonna stop and enjoy a delicious refreshment. Beautiful, there is our mid-ride stopping point, the Exxon gas station, or petrol station if you're an Aussie like me. Active drilling for oil, a good sign you're in Texas. Plenty of rolling hills in this part of Texas. Hello. Another beautiful quiet paved road along today's route. Thankfully I'm on this pretty busy road for a very short time and it has a massive bike lane with rumble strips. That way an inattentive motorist may at least realize holy sh I'm rumbling into the bike lane as they text. No texting as you're driving please. They go into another quiet paved road. Take a moment to relax and enjoy the scenery around here, the very quiet farm roads of this beautiful area of Texas. I have to say, I've ridden in Texas three times now and I've been really impressed and surprised with some of the amazing riding in this beautiful state. If you've never visited Texas with cycling in mind, give it a whirl, you will not be disappointed. And I should have a map available of this route linked in the description below and on the gravel cyclist routes page which i am slowly expanding come back off this beautiful paved road lightly traveled and on to the next dirt gravel road taking a left
folks, I must apologize for the lack of commentary today. Or maybe you enjoy that lack of commentary. However, the scenery speaks for itself today, I think, and sometimes it's best to let the scenery do the talking. I am really enjoying this ride. That is a beautiful barn. It looks quite new and it's air conditioned. That's another cool barn slash house property slash big shed. Passing through some small community here in North Texas. Well, here we go, it is Callisburg, Texas. And there is a little restaurant, gas and convenience store on the left, the City One Stop here in Callisburg, Texas. Left, the Callisburg United Methodist Church. It's a pretty small little town, Callisburg. Callisburg Community Club. This be Callisburg City Hall. On the left, the Callisburg Fire Department. Volunteer Fire Department, I should add. And this town appears to be bigger than it really is. There's a school just beyond that fence line. That was Callisburg, Texas. Now I'm pressing on towards the start town of Gainesville, Texas. Naughty boy. <laughs> Behave. Settle down. Hey, shush. You behave yourself. Behave yourself. Go home, you silly bugger. Hey. Naughty. Naughty. <laughs> Those cheeky buggers just messed with me. Now for a chase and a bit of a growl. <laughs> Heavy rain fell in this area a couple of days ago and I can guarantee you just looking at this road it was a bit of a quagmire. I imagine this area could be a bit suspect with uh, flash flooding. Folks right there is my steed for today my personal Ritchie breakaway titanium cyclocross bike which is no longer produced I'm afraid it's a very unique frame and for those who are unaware this is a true travel bike it breaks in half here and down by the bottom bracket where the coupling is at. Grip set is SRAM's ETAP 11 speed with a 2x crank set by FSA SLK 4630 chainrings. I believe I have shot a video showing this bike in detail. I forget, I've produced a lot of videos. And the bike itself packs into a regulation size suitcase. This was for those times before the airline started allowing folks to fly their full-size bicycles but even so it's very handy nowadays when I've got a rental car I don't want to have the car jammed full of a bike case I have a much smaller case and obviously a full-size bike my snacks camera batteries and a few other goodies are stashed inside this handy little bag by Kai Venture Bags of California you can check out Kai's wares linked in the description below and it's possible I may have a review of this bag and another that Kai produced for me some time ago. Super handy, especially for those bikes that do not have a top tube mount, which is becoming the norm these days, circa May 2021. Okay, enough rambling on, it's time to press on with this beautiful ride. Between the trees there is a nice view of the valley. Incidentally, there is a town just south of here called Valley View and another town just south of that called Sanger or Sanger as you would say here. Very quaint little North Texas country towns.
just eight kilometers or five miles remain of today's ride. Just above the tree line, you can see a water tower for Gainesville, Texas. Outskirts of Gainesville, Texas. Not my favorite crossing point. It is what it is. Still an amazing ride. Chevy SSR. You don't see many of those. And truly back into the residential areas of Gainesville, Texas. Hello Kitty. I'm almost at the end of my route. And well, yes, there's a very long freight train chugging through town. Here we are back into Gainesville, Texas proper. That wraps up today's video back at the Gainesville Railway Station. Hope you enjoyed tagging along. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel for videos such as this, bike reviews, product reviews, and other madness as all of it is released to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. This be the outskirts of Carrollton, Texas. It's a quiet little town. <laughs>